Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, this is Auto Detour, and something pretty exciting showed up in the mail uh, just a couple of days ago and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. For the longest time I've been doing my videos with a V-Box, which is great, it's super accurate. As far as making videos go, it doesn't uh, have the nice screen overlay like a draggy does. So we picked up a draggy for the channel and we're gonna be unboxing it in today's video, getting it set up, and of course, testing it out. So behind me, I have my 2003 Ford F-150. Uh, it's got a stock 5.4 liter in it, uh, stock transmission, stock everything basically on the drivetrain, but it does have a 76 millimeter turbo on it. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can see some of that action as we test out the draggy. I'm really excited to tear into this box, uh, see what's inside and see how this thing works. You know, I've seen videos of them online before, uh, and I really like that ability to have an overlay. Uh, and in upcoming videos, since I do have a Draggy and a V-Box now, I think it'd be super interesting to see what those numbers read side by side, see if we can compare the two, because a V-Box is much more expensive and supposed to be very, very accurate. Uh, we'll see how the two line up, see how accurate the Draggy is compared to a V-Box. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos. All right, now before we tear into this thing, um, I did get this off Amazon and they're about 150 bucks on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in one of these, I will put a link to the draggy that I got in the description down below. So be sure to check that out. All right, so now let's tear into this thing, see what we got inside the box. First, we gotta bust through this super secure security seal right here. All right, so that appears to be uh, Amazon, just Amazon packaging there. Uh, so here's the box here. Draggy labeled on the box, and of course, a picture of the draggy on the outside there. All right, really nice packaging actually. And it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it appears to be magnetized. So here's the unit itself. It appears to be about, you know, three inches long, maybe about an inch wide, about three quarters of an inch tall. Much smaller than my V box, of course. Uh, so let's see what else we got here. It comes with a USB to micro USB cable. Uh, I assume that is for charging. And it looks like it comes with a couple of magnetized plates. I assume that is to stick somewhere in the vehicle so that you can magnetically stick the unit and remove it easily. And some instructions. All right, so that's it. So if you have no idea what we're talking about, uh, the Draggy is a GPS-based uh, performance meter, basically very, very much like the V-Box, but this one connects via Bluetooth to my phone um, and records things like zero to 60, zero to 100 quarter mile times and displays them live uh, with an overlay. And I'll show you that after we get it set up later in this video. All right, so I just went and grabbed a generic charging block. This one happens to be from one of my kids uh, tablets uh, and just plugged it in here. So we'll, we'll plug this guy in. There we go, it's lighting up. Now we'll let that charge while we go download the app and get it connected. All right, so now that the app's all downloaded and we've registered, so let's hit that connect button. It's automatically lighting up the draggy over here is sending satellite data to Draggy. And we'll see if this actually works because we're inside. Uh, but there you go. Wow, we connected right up to it. So now I'm assuming this flashing light on the Draggy means it's connected. Uh, and there we go. We got our overlay right on video there and I'm assuming you just press record over there on the left. 
pretty cool. All right, and looking at this app a little bit more, looks like they got some other features in here like a leaderboard for all the different modalities here, zero to 60, 60 to 130, quarter mile, eighth mile, zero to 130, 100 to 150, 100 to 200, uh, half mile, one mile, 60 to zero, um, some feed there, I'm not sure what loads there. Okay. Looks like you can pull up other members and that use draggies as well. And then go over here. Oh, they gave me a pretty generous profile picture there. <laughs> Looks like you can access settings and your videos, adjust your units. You can set up your garage where you can add different vehicles, which makes sense if you, obviously if you wanna move your unit from one vehicle to another, you can record it under which vehicle did what, which is pretty cool. So anyway, enough of that. Let's go try it out. All right, let's head back out to the garage here. See if we can find a nice place to mount this. Unfortunately, we will not be using the draggy on the Viper today. It is January in Minnesota, and we're looking for zero to 60 times, not zero to in the ditch times. A little bit closer look at my setup here on the F-150, AKA Gramps. It is my sleeper project. It's a 5.4 liter with a 76 millimeter turbo. Got another engine sitting over here. It's a liver noise block. We are currently building that block to try to push Gramps up over a thousand horsepower. Right now we're running 12 and a half PSI. And with the V-Box, we were able to push a 4.8 zero to 60 times. So, uh, let's get this draggy set up here. We're not going to go anything for anything crazy today. I just want to kind of get a feel for how this works. Um, I haven't even pulled any of the junk out of it. As you can see, I do use it for a truck too. Um, so we're just going to, let's hop in here, find a nice spot to mount this. So I still have my V-Box and the windshield there. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier in the video, it, it should be fun to compare the two, see what numbers they put out. The V box does a one foot rollout, and I don't, I didn't read anything about if the draggy does the same. I don't really have anything metal to stick this thing to for the magnets to work. So I think for today, we're just gonna throw it up here on the dash in the surfboard. That should probably do it. Hopefully, it doesn't fly off the <laughs> fly off the dash. Uh, I kind of want it up here because for the V box, you know, they say the best place is in the center of the windshield. So it has best view of the sky. It didn't say anything that about that in the instructions for the draggy, but I assume the same sort of thing would apply. So we're just going to set it up there for now. Let's fire, fire up Gramps and, and see how this looks. typically like filming when it's getting dark because obviously the video quality isn't great but I think for today's video we'll kind of we'll get the point uh, and you'll still be able to see the overlay of the speed and times and all that stuff so that should be okay uh, plus filming in the truck with 100% legal window tint can be a little bit difficult uh, there you can see it's showing the speed right in the middle It's recording quarter mile time my 48 second quarter mile time at 30 miles an hour uh, so that's what that's what it looks like on the screen without video recording now we'll get out here let the truck warm up a little bit and see what it looks like uh, with the video overlay yeah, just a couple of observations as we drive out here uh, I came to a stop just to see because on the v-box when you come to a stop it resets everything I was just making sure you don't have to manually reset it before you do another run and that's the case on this one. As soon as you get to zero, it resets your number of feet to zero and sets a new run automatically. So that's nice. I was, it's nice to see that. I was wondering if... <laughs> I 
I was wondering if you'd have to manually reset it every time you did a new run, but it doesn't appear that that's the case. It is snowing slash raining a little bit, um, so we aren't going to do anything too crazy today, uh, but we'll see what we get. Not bad for a slow roll off the stop sign um, I went back and looked at the video definitely cool how it overlays the times and does it real time that's pretty cool that was a bit sketchy though I spun in first and second so for this one we're gonna flip it into four-wheel drive a good one <laughs> i wish i had more cameras going because the the draggy piece up there or whatever you call that piece the actual unit <laughs> just about flew off the dash on the launch uh i'll be interested to go back and see what time we got there uh it felt quick it was definitely less scary in four-wheel drive that time Okay, it's back in the garage now. Always a fun day when we get to go make driving videos. Uh, look at all the frozen rain on the front of the truck. Not exactly ideal uh, zero to 60 testing conditions, uh, but did great. I, I think we pulled off a five and a half second zero to 60 in the rain. Got a bunch of junk in the, tr in the bed of the truck. Uh, and we haven't unloaded anything from the interior. So it'd be really interesting to get the V-Box and the Draggy side by side and see what how close the numbers are. Like I said, I will link the Draggy down below if you guys are interested in one. It's 150 bucks. Um, and you, I mean, compared to the V-Box, that's, <laughs> that's a bargain. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a fun one to make, that's for sure. I'm looking into adding another vehicle to the channel uh, leave your comments down below on what you'd like to see. You know, I kind of have my ideas, but what would you guys like to see on the channel uh, as far as a, an additional vehicle? I'm truly curious what you guys would like to see. Be sure to subscribe for additional videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. We'll talk to you next time.